I am uh, Dr. M. Gauri Devi. I am placed in Delhi. I am also the President-elect of Indian Fertility Society. I am the Director of Ridge IVF Private Limited and also the Director of Gauri Hospital Private Limited. See, India has an infertile population of 27 million, of which only 1% is able to really get into uh, treatment or approach different uh, hospitals. And of this 20, 27 lakhs, that is the 1% which is able to get the treatment, of that also only hardly one sixth of them are able to get into the IVF treatment. So we are lagging behind much, much compared to the world health scenario. See, uh, as I told you in the first place only, India is unable to get into the market completely because we have our inabilities. We are a huge country and most of the IVF treatment is concentrated on the metro cities or maybe tier 2 cities. Tier 3 cities and many of the villages, they have no access to leave alone uh, IVF, they have no access to even IVF treatment. So we have a penetrability of like let us say it will be one fifth. In Japan if it is about 1 lakh cycles per year, we have 2000 cycles per year. That is the sort of a percentage I would put it to you. See when the, a couple comes for naive, there are certain things. One, we are not regulated by a proper will. So whether the centers are up to the mark, standardization of centers normal, the quality of the healthcare given in these centers are normal, there's no standardization asset, number one. Number two, there is no uniformity in the um, charges. So they are uh, confused as to whom to approach. Third is that no health insurance covers the uh, IVF and government uh, agencies also, very few of them give them monetary uh, uh, subsidization for the treatment. So in general, patients do suffer and many of the government hospitals do not have IVF special, IVF uh, treatment. So they have to go into the private player, players. So they have to uh, really, um, really have to uh, approach different uh, centers to on their own to see which quality is better. Okay, as I told in the previous this thing only, to make it affordable, number one, most of these media consumables, they are brought from abroad. There's no standardized, which easily can be made in India, which will make it much more affordable for an average Indian or those who are in the rural population. Number two, if government subsidizes its employees on the this thing, Third is, if insurance can cover some part of the treatment and fourth is, if they can get avail loans for this treatment. And with this, maybe we are we can make it more affordable. Okay, art will is a very, uh, you know, hotly debated, debated uh, bill as of this year. Because this has been going to the table right from 2006. But every year with more modifications, it has come back, it was never passed. The latest bill, it covers so many, uh, previously they were allowing sur surrogacy not only to Indian people or PIO or ODI, a person of Indian origin or for those from abroad. But they were also allowing foreigners to come and have surrogacy. But from the current, the present art bill, they said they are not going to allow uh, foreigners to come to India for this uh, surrogacy purpose. That was one thing. And there are quite a few centers in India who are doing very well with foreign clientele for surrogacy. Second thing is that, um, you know, the gays and lesbians in India, yes, they are allowed to, uh, single parent can go for a child, but again, foreigners, they are they have prohibited this. Then ovum donation, was firm donation, they have put in certain stipulations which probably like uh, the minimum uh, requirement for a treatment of infertility, minimum age 23, maximum age 44. The problem is that we know at the Indian women average many of them get married at 19. Then for five years for them to say you, we can't treat you. That becomes so. All these uh, uh, facts we have put it into them and went to the government to tell them that if we can may modify some of these factors, maybe the art will. I don't think this year it will come through. Maybe by next year. Yeah, PCP and DTS. Yes, we should go. I think if you ask me, all the centers should be regulated properly 
the standard of treatment and the lab facilities every should be one should be standardized it should come into the government fold so that everybody obeys the law pcpnd totally prohibits any sex selection and that should be respected and with these things maybe we can go forward with a good ivf program which will uh, reach out to the rural population also